me and cross over yeah. You so naughty, planned to punish you forever Them good girls lie for good Welcome back to our channel. So this look is very much inspired by Katie here on YouTube. You probably know her as Luster Lux. Um, she, I literally couldn't sleep last night, so I was looking at some of her old videos, and she did this incredible, like, monochromatic, all gray type of smoky eye, and I really wanted to recreate it, so this is what I did. Some of the products that she used, I didn't have, so I kind of just improvised with what I did have. So just a little, like, tip. Don't feel like you need to go out and buy certain products just because you see a YouTuber using them. Just basically use what you have. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm just going to jump right into the video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, follow us on Instagram. You guys know the deal. The link is all in the description box. For moisturizer, I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm going to take about one pump of this and just apply this all over my face. For primer, I'm using the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer Primer. This is the smoothie one. I'm using my favorite drugstore foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in the color 332, which is Golden Caramel, and I'm just going to apply this on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to blend it out using my beauty blender. To set my lids, I'm going in with my Chanel Universal Compact with my Zoeva Buffy Brush because I did put some foundation all over my lids just to even out the skin tone. Literally, it was so quiet all day and as soon as I start filming, there's someone else like cutting the grass. Really? I applied a little bit of tape on the ends of my eye just to make sure I get that sharp, clean line. And I'm going in with my Tartlet in the Bloom palette and I'm picking up this gray color right here. It's called Jet Setter with a just big fluffy brush. I'm going to apply that in my upper crease area and I'm really building this color up and just buffing it out. I'm then going into this darker gray shadow right here in the Morphe 35O palette with my Zoeva 228 brush. And I'm just going to place this shadow a little bit lower than the first transition shade that we applied. I'm taking my Carly Bible palette and I'm mixing these two shadows right here with the same 228 brush. And I'm just going to apply this mostly on that outer V and then blend it into the crease very tightly. Um, I'm just using these two shadows to kind of deepen it up a little bit more. And then with Azo Eva 227 brush, I'm mixing these two shadows at the bottom here. And this is going to go directly into that outer V to deepen it up even more. Now I want the white shadow that's going to go all over my lid to really pop. Um, I would normally use like a white jumbo pencil if you have one, but since I don't, I'm going to go in with a very, very light concealer for me. And this is the NARS Medium Custard Concealer. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. Like I said, if you have a white jumbo pencil in your kit, totally use that and use that as a base just to make sure you get that white shadow to really pop. I'm just gonna blend that out using a little brush. It's almost like we're cutting the crease, but not really. For my lid, I'm using that same brush and I'm picking up this white shadow right here. Use any very pigmented white shadow that you have in your kit. And pack that all over the concealer. So I did the other eye off camera and I applied some lashes. I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color Medium Tawny, I believe. Yes. And trust me, when you put concealer on, this is just going to bring so much more life to the makeup look. And I'm just going to blend that out using my Beauty Blender.
to set my under eyes, I'm actually going back into that Chanel powder and just kind of loading up my sponge. I've really been liking this powder to set my under eyes. It doesn't matter how much you apply, it never looks like you have powder under your eyes and it never looks cakey. To bring some color back into my face, I'm going in with my Better Skin Powder from Maybelline. This is in the color Coconut. In my last video, I said Caramel. This is in the shade Coconut. I'm using my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. For blush, I'm using the La Bella Donut Blush in the color Andrea. And you guys know the way I applied is all the way at the top here is where I put most of the product and then I bring it down. I'm going to quickly go in with a dual fiber brush and just blend everything and make everything seamless. For highlight, I'm using my Carly Bible palette and I'm using all three of the first shades in her palette. So I am baking under my contour here and I only apply the powder like halfway into my cheeks. I personally don't like the way it looks when people bring it all the way down to their mouth and it's a sharp line under their contour. I personally don't think that that looks good. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with this NYX. This is actually a lip pencil in the color Natural and I'm just going to apply this in my waterline. And I'm going to set that using a white cream shadow. Again, if you have a white like jumbo pencil to apply in your waterline, totally do that. But I personally don't, so that's why I'm just using the white shadow. I'm going back into the Morphe 35O and I'm taking a mixture of these two shadows here. And I'm just going to run that all over my lower lash line. I'm going to take my little paint brush and go into the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm picking up this color called Smoke Show and I'm just going to basically put a line right under my lower lash line and extend it into the inner corners. So in the inner corners, I'm going to take the shadow a little lower and extend it and make a little point. To fill in that little space that we have here as my inner tear duct highlight, I'm going to take another white shadow, use whatever you have, and then just place that very carefully in that little socket area. And I'm really building this up. I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm using my Maybelline Big Shot and applying this to both my tops and the bottom lashes. I feel like this eye look doesn't really look good until you apply some mascara on your bottom and top lashes. I really packed on the mascara on my bottom lashes. If you're a type of person who doesn't necessarily have a lot of lashes on your bottom, I would definitely suggest you apply some falsies under there just to really get the eye look to pop and really do the eye look justice. But as you guys can tell that I did apply some baking under my contour. I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and just wipe this away. And I'm going over that harsh line that you see. Now for lips, I've been dying to use this in tutorial. And this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Chateau. This is something totally different than I would normally wear. You guys know I love my nudes. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lids and just be very careful around the line. Touch all